Today I want to talk a little bit about end behavior of polynomial functions and we'll start off with this uh, parabola that you see here, this red colored parabola. Notice that the equation is y equals x squared. Well, um, y equals x squared is what's known as a second degree polynomial uh, and that's because the highest power of any variable is 2. And it's also known as an even degree polynomial because the number 2 is even. Now, it turns out that all even degree polynomials look a, have graphs that on the ends look a bit like this parabola, over here and over here. In other words, as we go out to the right, or to, on x to, infi to positive infinity, uh, our y values will go up forever. And as we go out to the left to negative infinity, our y values go up forever. Let's go ahead and zoom out so you can see that, yeah, this parabola really does go up forever. Now, unfortunately, it goes up so quickly we cannot see how far it goes out, but it is going out forever and it's going up forever as well. So um, let's contrast and compare that with uh, another type of polynomial. I'll make this one a third degree polynomial. Third degree polynomial uh, is, a, is one where we have a variable where the highest power is 3, like you see here. 3 is an odd number, so we also call this an odd degree polynomial. Now, odd degree polynomials, as you go to the right, um, their end behavior will be such that the y value goes up to positive infinity. And as you go to the left, the end behavior will be such that the y value goes down to negative infinity. Now, let me show you a couple of examples to reinforce these concepts. I'm going to go back to the even degree polynomial. Now, I said that the end behavior would be the same for all even degree polynomials. So let's take a look at a fourth degree polynomial. Now, you'll notice that as we go to the right, it goes up, and as we go to the left, it goes up. Let's take a look at uh, the third degree polynomial one more time. As we go to the right, it goes up, but as we go to the left, it goes down. Let's take a look at a fifth degree polynomial and see how it looks. Ooh, notice that it's the same thing. As we go to the right, it goes up, and as we go to the left, it goes down. Now, there's some good news here to help us remember how this works. Um, you might recall this polynomial. Um, this is known as a, let's see if I can get it in there, uh, this is known as a first degree polynomial because x is to the power of 1 and what we get is a straight line and you'll notice that because the slope here is a positive number I'm gonna go ahead and put the slope in so you can see it it's one um, notice since we have a positive one we get a positive sloping line one that goes up from the left and uh, uh, towards the right now when we look at by the way this is an odd degree polynomial because it's the power of one so Odd degree polynomials uh, go down to the left and up to the right, just like a positive sloping line. Let's double check and, and, and see one more time. Here's the, the uh, third degree polynomial, and here's a fifth degree polynomial, and here's a seventh degree polynomial. So um, at least if we take a look at a few odd degree polynomials, we see that they tend to have the same slope as a positive sloping line, which is a first degree odd it, it's an odd degree polynomial and uh, notice also that the coefficient is positive now let's compare this with the second degree polynomial we see that we as we go to the right we go up and as we go to the left we go up as well and then let's look at the fourth degree and the sixth degree and the eighth degree polynomial you can see they go uh, whether we go to the right or whether we go to the left they go they both go up Again, this is a lot like our second degree polynomial. So, so we're familiar with the quadratic polynomial. We know that we get a parabola. And we know that when we have a positive leading coefficient, or when our a is positive, we know we get a smiley face parabola. When a is positive, we know we get a smiley face parabola. Well, it turns out, um, for all the other even degree parabolas, just like the quadratic, um, we get a smiley face, at least on the ends. Uh, oops, that's not even. There we go. 
even degree polynomial. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, what about uh, if we had uh, a different number in front other than 1? Let's try negative 1 out in front. Well, you'll notice that for our even degree polynomials, we go uh, whether we're going to the right or whether we're going to the left, we end up going down. Our y values go to negative infinity as we go to the left and as we go to the right. And that's true when we have uh, even deg any even degree polynomial, fourth degree, sixth degree, eighth degree. Um, as long as we have a negative leading coefficient, we will end up having n behavior. As x goes to positive infinity, we will have our y values go down. And as x goes to negative infinity, we will have our y values go down. This is true for any even degree polynomial that has a negative leading coefficient. Now, let's try this with odd degree polynomials. So we'll go back to um, 1. You'll notice we have a negative sloping line. So um, if we try this with a third degree or a fifth degree or a seventh degree, you'll see that we have a similarity to the first degree polynomial. In the first degree polynomial with a negative leading coefficient, we get a negative sloping line. In other words, our line goes up as we go to the left and goes down as we go to the right. Um, and then if we look at our third degree, we go up as we go to the left and down as we go to the right. So it turns out that we can use our first degree polynomial uh, as, a, as a model for what all of our other odd degree polynomials are going to look like at the ends. So, um, so if we have a negative leading coefficient like this, and if we have an odd degree, we will go, as, as our x values go to the left, y will go up. As our x values go to the right, y will go down. We can compare that to our even degree polynomials where when we have a negative leading coefficient, um, if we go to the left, we, y's go down. If we go to the right, y's go down. This is true for all even degree polynomials uh, as long as we have a negative leading coefficient like negative 1. Now, some of you are now thinking to yourself, well, geez, what if there's other terms? Maybe that messes everything up altogether. So let's take a look and see if it does. So let's go back one more time and we'll look at, uh, oh, let's look at this parabola. Now, what if I have some other terms in here, like plus 3x um, minus 7? Uh, I still have a polynomial that as I go to the right, it goes up, and as I go to the left, it goes up. Even if I go in and change that minus, that 3 to a minus, I still have a polynomial that as I go to the right, it goes up, and as I go to the left, it goes up, just like my original even degree polynomial. Now, um, what about if I have a fourth degree polynomial? Well, what happens then? Well, let's try minus 3x uh, to the power of 3 and minus 2x to the power of 2 and minus 5x and minus 7. You'll notice that although the polynomial begins to look a little strange, uh, still as we go to the right, it goes up, and as we go to the left, it goes up, um, the, uh, just like our other even degree polynomials, even though we have all these other terms. Um, let's take a look and see what if I make that x to the fourth a sixth power. Well, I'm trying to zoom in as best I can here, but again, what we see is uh, we still have a graph that as we go to the right it goes up and as we go to the left it goes up and I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see that actually let's zoom out a bit so you can see that and you can see that even though we don't go to the right or to the left very quickly um, we, as we go to the right and left we're definitely going up in both directions and let's just try uh, third degree polynomial and we'll do um, oh let's go plus x to the power of 2 and yeah, we'll throw a throw a 5 in there and then minus 7x and then plus 2 let's zoom in and yeah, we might have to zoom out a bit there we go okay so we'll zoom in and you can see that even though we have all that stuff uh, this is a, 
odd degree polynomial and there is a positive leading coefficient there's a positive one out in front and because of that we get what looks like a positive sloping line as we go and by the way just so I can remind you here's what a positive sloping line looks like as we go uh, from left to right we go up y values go up as we go to the left our y values go down that's true for our positive sloping line which is an odd degree polynomial see it's an odd degree polynomial with a positive leading coefficient if we look at this other here this is also an odd degree polynomial with a positive leading coefficient so as we go to the left we y goes up and as we go I'm sorry as we go to the right y goes up and as we go to the left y goes down um, and uh, so what we end up doing is we use uh, our linear model, which is an odd degree polynomial, we use this as our model for all other odd degree polynomials. And when we want to compare our even degree polynomials, when we want to figure out what they're going to look like uh, in their end behavior, we will compare all. I'm going to try to zoom in here. We'll compare all of our. Here's a, here's our fourth degree. It's this red colored parabola. Um, notice the n behavior is the same as our quadratic uh, and that parabola. So um, I'm going to explain in another picture exactly. I, I'm going to summarize what I just went through with Desmos for you.